Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to work with the new Gutenberg editor in WordPress. So let's get started. So Gutenberg is the new editor that WordPress has introduced and uh, before it had the classic editor now whenever you install the latest version of wordpress you will get the gutenberg editor by default and if you have an older version of wordpress you can install the gutenberg editor by just going to plugins and clicking on add new and you can search for the gutenberg editor and you can install it as a plugin so let's get started by taking a look at how the gutenberg editor looks so let's go to post and click on add new so let me just close this uh, over here and uh, here you can see we have this button called add block so using this we can add uh, a block in our uh, post so the Gutenberg post consists of blocks so a block consists of image text or gallery or content from a plugin and a lot more we'll take a look at that but uh, here we have the add button and uh, and then we have the undo and redo buttons and uh, then we have this uh, content structure button over here so let me add some content over here so that we can see how these buttons work so i'll just type my new post and uh, here we will type this is my new post content and now if you go to this content structure we can see we get the details about our post we have six words we have one paragraph and we have one block that is this paragraph itself and now if we add another paragraph then here we can see we have two paragraphs and two blocks and the words are updated so this gives us basically some details about our uh, post and then we have this button called block navigation in which we can see all the blocks that we have over here and uh, we can go ahead and click on that and uh, the block will be selected and then we can edit or do whatever we want and then we have this save draft button which can save your post as a draft and you had this in the classic editor as well and then we have the preview button which uh, shows us the preview of our post and uh, then the publish button to publish our uh, post and then we have this uh, settings button which is uh, these settings over here and if you click on that we can see it hides and uh, we can show it again by clicking on the settings button and uh, then we have this button over here and if you click on that we get these options and we have different options over here if you click on this top toolbar we can see that the toolbar that we had over here is now displayed on the top and uh, whenever we click on any of uh, these blocks we will get the toolbar on the top and uh, then we have this uh, option called spotlight mode so if you turn that on we can see that the block we work on is uh, in focus and all the others have faded out and then we have the option of uh, full screen mode so we can see here the default wordpress sidebar gets uh, hidden and uh, then we have this option of uh, code editor so if you click on that we can see that we get this html code over here and um, so if you want to see the html and make some changes over here then you can go to the code editor and uh, make the changes We'll go back to the visual editor and then we have different tools over here like block manager which displays all the different blocks that we have and we can disable and enable them and then here we have the option of managing all the reusable blocks so right now we don't have any blocks that are reusable if you have any then you can see them over here and you have a lot of keyboard shortcuts in the gutenberg editor so if you click on this keyboard shortcuts you can see all the shortcuts and then we can copy all the contents by clicking on this button and we have these options over here and uh, we have different options uh, which you can disable and enable now we'll take a look at the document and the block tabs so here we have pretty much all the different options that we had in the classic editor so we have the visibility we can set it to public private or password protected and then we have this publish option over here and it is set to immediately and if i click on that we can select a date over here and uh, it will show as published on that date and then we have the post format option and uh, you can select the different post type that you have over here and using this we can stick this block to the top of our uh, blogs index page and then you have this option of pending review which you can use to set your post as pending and someone can review it and publish 
and then we have this option to delete our post and we have all these options which we had in the previous uh, editor as well so i'm not gonna go into these all right now if we go to the block tab we have to select a block over here so let's select this paragraph block and we have different text settings over here you can select the font size and you can also type in a value over here and if you click on this drop cap checkbox we can see that the first letter has a bigger font size and uh, then we have this option called color settings and uh, you can set a color for your background so if i click on this blue over here we can see that we have this blue background for our uh, paragraph and uh, then we can change the color of the text as well and then here we have advanced options and here we can add a css class and uh, we can style that in our style.css file and uh, those styles will be applied to this block over here so that's basically it with the blocks tab now let's see how to insert a block in uh, gutenberg so when we click on this add new button we get a space for the heading and then we have this default block of paragraph and if you want to insert a new block of paragraph you just have to hit enter and uh, we can see that this is the new paragraph we have different options of uh, creating a block we can click on this uh, button over here and uh, we can select a paragraph and uh, we can see we have this new block over here or else we can go to the center of this block and uh, click on add block and we can select paragraph from here or else you can use this options button over here and click on insert before or insert after to create a new paragraph block so these are the different ways of inserting a block and if you want to delete a block you just have to click on this uh, more options button and click on remove block and we can see the block is removed and if you go to the left side of the block we can see we have this option of moving this block up or down so if i click on move up we can see this paragraph moves to the top of uh, the other paragraph and if you click on down it goes down and we can even drag this block to wherever we want and then here we have the toolbar for this block we can set it to left right or center aligned and then we can set it to bold or italic or we can even make it a link over here we can click on that and enter the url and uh, click on this button over here and we have different options over here like we can uh, duplicate this block if you want and then we can edit this as html and we can make this a reusable block as well we also have this option of changing this block to a different uh, block type so if i click on this button we can see we have different options over here if i click on heading this block changes to a heading block and we can even select the different uh, headings over here now let's take a look at what are the different options that we have for our blocks so if i click on this add block button we can see the most used blocks are displayed over here and uh, we have the paragraph heading image gallery list code and uh, all those things and then here we have different blocks divided into different sections you can go ahead and uh, add these blocks and see how this uh, works we also have this layout elements where we can add columns and here we have an interesting block where we have media on the left side and text on the right and then we can add widgets over here so if i go over here we can see we can add the calendar latest posts and all these things we can also add short codes that we have from the plugins to the short code block and uh, then we have this embed section where uh, you can uh, embed youtube videos twitter tweet and the facebook post and uh, things like that so these are the different blocks that we have for the gutenberg editor all right so that's basically it for this video this is a basic introduction to the gutenberg editor so just go ahead and install this editor and share your feedback in the comments below if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day